Hello, for this quick capture, uh, I like to take someone that have no experience with, or like to play or start and make a quick start with um, Skype and to prove your concept of layer 2 and layer 3, whatever that type of attack and uh, packet redirection. But to go that far, um, to uh, to go that far, I just try you know, I just try to help uh, put whatever thing here together. It might help you. Uh, okay, uh, if you want to go further advanced, please. I'm uh, not advanced, but to starting and confirm whatever that I'm saying here that you not make not so clear or some command that you have no idea where to go. So please go into Skype and then go into uh, what is that called? Uh, it tutorial and this one will help you a fair bit. Uh, please just go ahead do what whatever that you like to do okay so in here um, uh, I'm going to do that a little bit see how you see that I use the packet okay let's start so what I'm going to do now I have pre prepared my stuff here so I have two main tasks right the first task that I'm trying to capture a, a, a file in, in Linux using uh, and then I, I show you how to take them in uh, using this one command right and then how to put them in there that's it and how to view this packet example they have a couple of packet i'll show you how to view the first second last packet whatever that very quick one and the second part of the video that i'm going to play around here so basically i got to be here because i install here not attacker but that may be you know just assume in terms of your concept so this place is a good uh, i mean a pretty good person sit there do day-to-day -day job so you just play around with that or you just test it out to see that the, uh, the MAC address is, is, I mean, that machine die or not die. Very much after this exercise, you can see this one, it just dead, dead. Okay, so let's start with the first one that I have. So let's start, I have a couple of Linux here. Uh, so I hope it's not truly. Really... So first I have my uh, my Linux here, right? So that's my Linux. I just done something before, so I'm going to do. So now at the moment I got nothing. I'm going to do some capturing from this machine. Uh, capture. I'm going to do TCP dump, and then from first I got to find out what my current interface. Are you for are you Fedora at the moment? That's my interface, right? So I'm going to do the first interface TCP dump, and then I get the I here, and then I get the interface in. Okay, what I'm like to uh, what I'm going to dump. I'm going to dump the um, some ICMP packet, yeah. Then write out to the ICMP, that's the pcap file. Actually, that file can be anything, but the format is inside pcap anyway. Then I'm going for that. Uh, sorry, I'm going to do a dash. Okay, now, uh, the same computer, I'm going to, I have another capture here. I'm going to, I'm trying to pin this computer, see how I go, right? And I'm not sure what my IP address, that would be 167. So from here, my computer, I'm going to pin uh, two packet, right? I can make it three packet, right? To that IP address, uh, 68.10.167. So that would be three, uh, three packet. All right, I'm done. I'm get out here. I control C. So now I would have that, uh, whatever 14 packets in there. Now what I'm going to do is I got to import that file there. I'm going to import that file into my capture and read them right of course you can do this in Wireshark it's pretty fast but uh, just play around with this see how you go if you like to of course now I'm going to my stuff here so I got to say uh, I read a equal what is that read and then uh, pcap pcap format and then open close and go in here open close and then where they come from so let me check where they come from I mean where the packet so that's root so that will be root slash root slash whatever there right so this is root and then i i see i see mp there okay now you can see show there top a see 14 packet now you can view uh show uh dash show there and you can top that you see the different it's not different right i show a little bit now you put bracket it see it's a little bit more and now you see i see mp i see mp then packet there ICMP whatever packet does it roll and reach whatever it, they, they capture anything to do with ICMP so that's the packet now uh, the first one and that 13 packet now example I'm going to view the packet number six that's I feel the packets number six what do I do uh, now I do packet number six go and then go for number six and then close 
that's the packet number six that it looked like. So show packet number six and then show them. So this is going to whatever layer you may call the network access or MAC address layer and destination MAC, source MAC, and I'm sure that's the destination source MAC here. You can see that where the packet come from, right? That is my IP address. That's my source where they come from. You can see there we're at 65. That's where I'm come from, right? That's my source. So the destination there, top IPv4, you can read all of this information if you wish to, all right? Okay, the next bit that I'm going to, uh, again, you, you can play around with the fair bit of that and the, the, all of this help online is plenty. It gives you a lot of help, so well, I just don't know how to do that only. Okay, my next, uh, my next couple, um, my, my, my next uh, exercise that help you is I'm going to parallelize this machine. So this machine is here, right? That's my machine is there. At the moment, I'm going to pin example. I'm pin uh, uh, two packet, right? Going to Google default. It's pretty good, right? It's nothing wrong with that. I can pin Yahoo, of course. Uh, I can pin the example. I'm going to gmail.com. Nope. Nothing wrong. Okay, nothing wrong. Completely fine. But now, example, someone know my MAC address. Of course, do not MAC address not hard at all, of course. Now I'm going to here, I'm going to here, then I'm, I'm playing around with this now. Um, I run this statement and I hope this statement, I put it up there for you, you may find out you want to. So i am done that part for you already. Or you can, this is how to find the MAC address, okay? Example, I don't know the MAC address of, uh, uh, what is this guy? This, uh, what is my, example, I don't know the MAC address of this guy, yeah? So I'm going to get I'm going to get that MAC address there. So that's what I run. I run this one here, and that's answer or or an answer. So at the moment I gave them the default, all right, the broadcast, whatever F F F F F F that you might call. Then I run this from here, see what they got. Okay, got one answer. That's pretty good. So finish one, so how do I view this? I can type answer, then there's one, and then how do I show that? I'm sure you know how to show already, show detail. There we go. Um, that's very much one packet, isn't it? So that's a MAC address there, exactly. So you don't need to know really someone's MAC address. If someone really play around, they can find whatever way they find your MAC address anyway. Okay, next one. Um, let me go to the point before too long for you. So now, that's just the gateway, right? The gateway on my machine here. Uh, I can show you the gateway. Well, uh, well, that's my gateway. That's a pretty good gateway, yeah? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to follow the video that I've got here. So again, I collect everything. That's the target. That's my center. So I got to make it die, right? I got to make this guy die. Yeah, I mean, the, this computer not function not time and then I capture two ways so first one is you can read this statement if you like to that's what I got to top and then if you post the video you can top them now if you want to right so to my target that's a statement right so Ethernet remember Ethernet is a layer 2 right layer 2 I'm doing layer 2 I have another example for layer 3 but if you would like to watch after this this is layer 2 attack only so first MAC address a target. Remember, I run this script on my on I run this script on on here, right? I run this script here, not over here. This is where I make it die. Because this one go here at the moment, but I I make this die two ways. One is die by itself, and second is everything is action over here, it's returned back to me. So that I got two statements for this uh, video. Okay, the first one. Uh, anyway, you just take time and find out this one on the website that I showed you earlier, right? It may help you, and you might have found what a hardware address. So there we go. So please read them. Um, and let me make it bigger if I could. Okay, that's the biggest I can. All right, you can write down. Take your pretty time. And I think they're not case sensitive, I believe. So it's not really a big deal, I guess. Okay, send P, find out what it is, Ethernet layer 2, and then one loop in there, second loop, and then play around it if you like the interface, uh, the interface of your machine, yeah? Okay, run, so that's random on MAC address, that's a random MAC address, so that's it my, uh, the target, right? That's the target, the target there, the target, that machine, you make it die there, that's its target address, 
and then the target IP address that you know already that's a target machine yeah that's the target machine uh, then then I'm going to loop forever what about the until I do control C and then the first method spoof and the spoof MAC address okay let me go with the first one and then see how you go if you like post the video write them down and play around with that now I'm going back here I'm going to my Scotty then I paste them in run now why let it run I'm going to my Wireshark and capture so example TC TCP dump TC uh, dump and then I do what is it my interface uh, let me do interface there I'm not capturing anything now and then I do in source 192.168.10.178 I think that may right okay now I capture now I'm going here I've got the ping right ping example ping two packet C uh, let's see two packet to Google uh, what wrong with me how come they receive 50% it should die after this now it's pretty much die see that at the moment because the reason I use a random IP at the random MAC address because I don't point into my I don't point into my machine so the next statement uh, I got to point anything happen over here we go over here so that I point to my uh, MAC address so that how they call a that's my MAC address here yeah? not a random anymore so I attack direct into my machine I mean I take the packet whatever happened from whatever happened from here uh, happened from here it come to me so I change my statement to do that so now I run my second statement the same thing I just change it and you can see the impact right away uh, what do you got so first you see the packets nothing right from the IP address got nothing now I'm come to here I change this one of course control C to stop them I paste my new statement in so again this is now going to my attacker I mean my own computer my copy and my copy computer right and then I run them now go over here you pin but before pin that you come here have a look have a look the listening right so hit pin there we go see this one I mean you sit there you watch it the packet coming I mean because at the moment I capture on only ICMP if I do something else um, it might just take it as well so if you can capture anything from that or you can do anything and you can capture another packet or not LCMP do, and do just remover and then you can do source from here it take is to whatever there I mean whatever on this machine it come to here so that is my example and again if you like the if you like this one I'll put this down there for you in case I, I put this down in my YouTube uh, I mean at the end of uh, the common site that you can see as I have a common site here and then you can view them if you want to uh, the common I mean there the common uh, show more okay go on there get them in uh, in this video similar because this video I haven't posted yet okay hope you like it and then uh, if you like of course give me some hints uh, subscribe if you like okay good luck have fun and bye for now see the next video for the actual layer 3 not layer 2 this is a layer 2 still all right bye for now